What is going on everyone? My name is Jeff and guys I just wanted to make a short video about a company that I've been watching for a few months now and that is Tandem Diabetes Care, ticker symbol TNDM. And I always kind of stood on the sidelines and wanted to watch what it was doing. I have not bought into this stock. This stock has outperformed everything on planet earth. It even makes the marijuana sector look kind of pathetic. Because over the past one year, Tandem Diabetes is up 1,867%, okay? Roughly $64.07. A year ago, uh, March 2nd, 2018, this stock was trading around $3.89. That's kind of ridiculous. Almost like it hit, you know, a pivot point. It just got so low. Valuation got so low on this thing and things started to turn around. As you can see, it has been on an absolute tear really since March 2018 got up as high as $51 in September, and then of course took a little bit of a decline. Uh, but one thing I will say, uh, not nearly as big of a decline as most stocks did, you know, through October to December. And now on its last earnings report, traded well over $67 a share. And so uh, close to a 1900% one year return. This chart does not really tell the story of this stock though. For that, we need to go to the five year chart. And of course, the real story here, guys, is this stock was well over $250 a share five years ago and has just lost a significant amount of its value. Like I said, being traded all the way down, you know, back to the pennies like we talked about here in early 2018 and now is back on a huge run. So I guess the question is, can this stock continue its epic run or is it time for it to cool off a little bit? and uh, you know take a breather because this just seems like one of those type of stocks if you don't just jump in at some point you are going to miss the bus and uh, i really don't like doing that you know i'll let opportunities pass me by before i'll force myself uh, to jump in a stock i'm a little bit cautious about and so tandem diabetes guys it is a public u.s medical device manufacturer based in san diego california and this company develops medical technologies for the treatment of diabetes and specifically insulin infusion therapy and this appears to be you know it's big product that they have going for them guys that they're doing so well on earnings and growing the stock so well is their slim x2 insulin pump apparently it predicts and helps prevent lows with basal iq technology and I'll just go out here and say, guys, I am not a doctor, but I think just a brief explanation of how this device works is that it predicts glucose 30 minutes ahead, and then it suspends insulin to help avoid the low, and then it resumes insulin once glucose rises, okay? And so if you're the type of investor that likes to base most of your decisions on earnings report, um, I think you have the green light to invest, in my opinion, uh, from this last earnings report and forward guidance. Because they beat uh, quarter four gap EPS of two cents, they beat that by 22 cents, and then revenues of $76.2 million, they beat by $19.82 million. Now that is a very, very large margin uh, for revenue expectations, okay? And basically, they were asked to come to the table with uh, $76 million, and they brought an extra $20 million to the table, okay? And so these quarter four results, guys, their sales numbers were up 89% on the year. Their net income was up 132%. Their EPS was up 100.6%. And then right down here, you can see their 2019 guidance. They're expecting sales of 255 to $270 million. So that is what sent the stock trading up very high. Um, even more importantly than the earnings report was the guidance, okay? That they got it up very, very high. And uh, it would appear that this stock is actually poised to run up higher from where it's currently trading at. Now with all that said guys, I do want to issue a word of caution is that this company is still not making money and they're still not profitable yet. Even though they have turned the corner and kind of reinventing themselves as a company, you know, still negative on profit and operating margins and still negative on return of assets and equity, okay? So I always like to consider some of those fundamental things whenever I'm going to invest in a stock. But if you want to go off earnings growth and you want to go off of sales and and net income and revenue uh, this does appear to be a very investable company or at least the type of company you could make a very nice swing trade with 
So like I said, guys, go down in the comment section. Uh, those of you who have either owned this stock or have it on your radar, if you own this stock <laughs> and you have bought pretty much any time over the past year, you are doing fantastic on your position, I'm sure. Do you think this run is sustainable? Like I said, if you want to go off earnings growth, I think it is at least temporarily okay i mean i could sit here and say you know don't run out and buy this stock at 67 dollars and 50 cents a share but uh, the next thing is this thing's going to be 70 80 90 100 dollars a share so i don't know if i consider this a true investment yet you know i do want to see their margins turn around then become more of a profitable company something i can feel safe holding in my portfolio for the long term but i definitely think there is an opportunity to make some quick money on a swing trader or even if you want to hold this stock to the next earnings report or two it sounds like they're going to have some very exciting revenue numbers in 2019 but anyways that's all i got for the video guys be sure to drop a like on this video i always appreciate that and have a great day